Hey guys, I want to talk about a common problem that I see a lot of people having, and that is, how can I securely wipe my drive? Most people know that when you have data on a drive, and you simply just delete that data, the data is still there, it needs to be overwritten in order for it to actually be gone, in order for it to not be recovered again. And with hard drives, it's a lot simpler, but with solid state drives, it can get a little tricky. So over here I have a bunch of different types of drives. Over here you have a 2.5 inch SSD. Over here you have the M.2 NVMe SSD. Over here you have an M.2 SATA SSD. Over here you have a 3.5 hard drive, HDD, and over here is a 2.5 hard drive. And the hard drives are relatively simple to wipe. When it comes to SSDs, they get a little tougher because they don't store their data the traditional way that a hard drive stores its data. So there are a bunch of different ways that you can wipe your drive. Uh, I found one very easy way that you can uh, pretty consistently wipe your drives. But I'm going to talk about a bunch of alternative ways besides the way that I learned how to wipe my drive. And they're all relatively simple. The first thing we need to talk about is how you can connect your drive to the computer. So for 2.5 inch drives, which will include the SSD 2.5 inch and the HDD 2.5 inch, they have the easiest way of connecting. You just get something like this and the USB power is enough to power the 2.5 inch drive because they don't use a whole lot of power and the power that comes out of USB totally works. I would recommend getting something USB 3.0 and the Sabrent, um, I guess USB to SATA adapter is perfect for it and it works for both of them. This is the quickest way and the best way. This will fit into the 3.5 drive, but it won't be able to power it because 3.5 inch drives use a lot more power than 2.5 inch drives. You'll need a special uh, hub port docking station, whatever you want to call it. I like this one because it has a fan under. I did some modifications to the fan. However, I would definitely recommend this. It has its own power. You'll need a special power adapter. It obviously comes with it and it runs USB 3.0 as well. You just slide it right in and voila. Um, this can also work with the 2.5 uh, inch drives, but um, this is a simpler solution if you just have a 2.5 inch drive that you want to use. Now, what about the M.2 drives? So the M.2 drives is a bunch of different solutions. You have these types of readers, but this actual one actually only works for SATA, so not NVMe. So what you'll need to do is get maybe a dual uh, reader. This one does NVMe and uh, SATA. M.2s and it also has different holes for different sizes and I did a video on this you can check it out and I really like this one um, I got it for ten dollars this one cost eight dollars this cost I think twelve dollars and this cost thirty five dollars or thirty dollars uh, either way it's a good device all of them are good devices so no matter how you connect it uh, once you get it connected let's talk about how to wipe it the wipe it. The first method is a little bit cheap, but it works and it works every time. So uh, it's totally worth doing it if you have the option and you want it to be as simple as possible. Um, if you have a desktop computer, just plug in that um, that drive into the desktop computer, uh, install Windows on it and click reset this PC, get started and remove everything. And then it will give you an option of local reinstall. You can click that, make sure to clean change settings and clean data and then press confirm, okay? And then you're going to hit next and reset and it takes a long time to reset the PC, but, um, and you have to make sure it's plugged in. But anyway, that's how you do it and then you let you sit, but it sits for a while and then you have to reinstall Windows. It's very annoying, especially if you wanna do a double wipe, which I usually do it two times just to make sure that it's wiped, I wipe it twice. And that works with SSDs, it works with uh, HDDs, M.2 SSDs, 2.5 inch, 3.5 inch, and that is method number one, which, honestly is very the, probably the easiest thing and I've been doing that for a long time but I wanted something that was better so let's plug in this SanDisk SSD and we're gonna plug it in like this it's gonna be using USB 3.0 at 6 gigabytes a second so that's gonna be pretty good I'm sorry 6 gigabits a second which equals to uh, you know 800 megabytes a second theor theoretical speeds once you plug in your drive just go to command prompt right click command prompt and make sure you run as administrator otherwise it will not work click yes and here you have the command prompt. Now the first thing you want to do is just, and these commands are very simple. Just type in this part. I think that might be one word. This part, there we go. Okay, it's running this part. And now you're gonna to want to list disks. So, okay, this number one is the 240 gates inside, and this number two is, sorry, is this SanDisk uh, SSD that's 128 gigabytes. So we know it's this number one and not this number zero. So that's good. So you just type select 
disk disk one disk one is now selected so far very easy and just type in clean once you hit clean it's going to clean this one now if it's trying to wipe the operating system which is the zero it will give you an error saying um you know this is the operating system on it we can't do it now that cleans it it basically deletes everything that's on here but it doesn't actually what secure wipe the drive so in order to secure wipe it just type clean all and come back after 20 minutes because it will take some time maybe even longer um, i think this is the same method that is used when you reset the pc it takes around the same amount of time from my experience which could be anywhere from ssd it takes much shorter but for an hdd it will take longer and we're going to come back when this is done and it's about 45 minutes later and as you can see it says this part succeeded in cleaning the disk and you can use this method on hard disks, solid state disks, and even M.2 disks. So you can use it on everything and it will work. I usually do it twice to make sure I get it nice clean. Um, and that's just what I do for security, but you can use, usually just do it one time and you'll be fine. There's another great program that you can use to secure wipe your drives, but it only works on hard drives and it only works on Linux. It's called nwipe and you can just put in this command to install it. Once you install, you'll be able to run nwipe. Just type in sudo and wipe and now you have it over here are the drives and you can choose to wipe one drive or both drives but never ever try to wipe an ssd otherwise you'll probably ruin the ssd what this program does is it rewrites over the hard drive there was a previous version of it called dban but they upgraded it to be called nwipe for the newer linux systems over here there are a bunch of different options as you can see you can switch the method if you want and you could choose the rounds, you could choose the method. There are a lot of different things you could do. And there's also an option for verifying. I think the best part is that you could do more than one drive at a time and it'll just run for a long time. There's no babysitting and it's very smooth. There's also an ISO that is very similar to NWIPE and you can boot from it. It basically is NWIPE, but it is bootable, which lets you wipe a computer that's just, um, I guess has the drive inside. It's just a very easy way to wipe it. There's also the USB version. You could just take the ISO and put it on USB, but I'm just showing you the CD version because uh, that's what's here. Once I'm on Linux, the obvious thing that I need to show you is inside of disks, there's an option to actually format the disk. If you click format disks, as you can see, there's an option to overwrite the existing data um, and with zeros, which is slow. And there is ATA enhanced secure race. So there are options in here as well to erase. Uh, there's also an, a uh, program called Eraser, which you can use. Um, that uh, is very similar to DBAN to NWIPE, but um, I just like NWIPE better. So that's why I didn't mention that one. And you can use Eraser in actually Windows, which is really nice. Um, so that could be something that you can go for as well. Anyway, here are all the options for erasing disk, but I think the eraser also works for only hard drives. So as far as SSDs go, for sure the uh, this part is the best, or if you want, you can use the Windows uh, wipe tool that's built into the reset. Uh, however, if you're erasing a hard drive, I would go with eraser or nwipe or shred OS. Um, all those are great options, but you could also use this part in that situation. Anyway, thanks for watching. I hope this helped you. I really, um, use these programs all the time and I'd recommend each one of them um, for their own you know, strength and weaknesses, weaknesses depending on what you're looking for. And have a great day. If you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe. Have a great day.